when we talk about the coral reef, there's always, and quite rightfully so, uh, an attached message of kind of where the planet is going and um, progressing faster than even our scientific knowledge can fully keep up with. To have spent so many years making music that was focused on our inner realities and our, our psychic realities to sort of push into a realm that is talking about sort of what's happening on a, on a more political level is, is a little scary, but it does seem important. I had this professor that was like, you have to like go out into the desert and learn the name of every cactus that's here because that is how you appreciate something. You have to know something to love something. So this is like the reverse process. Like we want you to care about this stuff. And so we just saw like the most simple way we could do it was to show you this and have you marvel at the beauty and then be inspired to do your own research rather than tell you. We have something to learn from them just as much as we can sort of change our behavior. But they've been on this planet a lot longer than we have. So I think that there's that in and of itself should tell us something that, hey, maybe we should just learn something from these creatures that don't even have brains and they don't have a face. Even if you can't fully understand what it is that you're looking at, if it draws you in, then hopefully you ask more questions and then we understand that even the smallest creatures in the ocean and on, on this planet are all part of a really important bigger picture that we are sort of responsible for. Thank you to Colin Ford, Joshua Dipp and uh, Brian Weitz. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Thanks.